Following an ancient map buried below the surface of harvest, the spirit of fire arrived at the colony world of Arcadia on February 9th, 2531, only to find the Covenant forces already laying waste to the planet. Before the spirit's arrival, four UNSC ships, the Belfast, Pillar of Autumn, Texas, and Armstrong, had already engaged a pair of Covenant cruisers. These Covenant ships were led by the Arbiter, a relentless and brutal commander who took orders directly from the Prophet of Regret. The UNSC vessels managed to destroy one of the cruisers, but only after losing the Texas and the Belfast, with both the Autumn and the Armstrong suffering from significant damage. Upon receiving a distress call from Arcadia's surface, Captain Cutter and the ship's AI, Serena, deployed groundside forces to aid the civilian evacuation. Arcadia and its capital city of Perth, once considered a luxurious tourist destination, were now being reduced to ash. It was there that Sergeant Forge fought alongside Spartans and Marines, forcing the Covenant out of the capital city and into the planet's unexplored regions. This success, however, was only momentary, as the Covenant focused entirely on a remote area, constructing a massive energy shield to hide their activity. Confused by their actions, Anders and Forge traveled to the planet's surface using a collection of plasma-based rhinos to punch a hole through the Covenant's shield. There, they found ruins from another age, once again unearthed by the Covenant. Using buried Forerunner technology, the aliens were constructing a modified scarab larger than any they had ever built before. Prior to its completion, the UNSC forces managed to destroy it, eventually scavenging through the wreckage for clues to the Covenant's occupation. Little did they know, the Arbiter had already found what he came for. The ruins on Arcadia pointed him to yet another world, but this one would hold a secret that could change the course of the war. <laughs>